No matter the color of the collar, the destination seems to be the same. A whole lot of dollars and 15 minutes of fame. It came to me recently that money can't buy common sense. The troubles I see have nothing to do with paying my rent. God must be busy, cause every time I beckon, I reckon he's helping somebody in the worst position. Probably wishing to be where I am. Well, damn, who am I to be grieving? I think I'm going to head on down the links for a drink and celebrate that I'm still breathing. Good, as in Mrs. Johnny B. Good. And I'm back in D.C. mainly to do what I do best, cause trouble. <laughs> Why does everybody want to know my story? Well, I could be from Long Island, darling, and you're gorgeous, by the way. Or I could be from Jamaica, and I bet island flavor I think everything I read. Or I could be a southern belle, helpless defenseless and taking you for every penny you've got although i'm sick of that character Ooh, look at the time i must go i have to decide who i'm gonna be today and who i'm gonna deceive the white house please okay people listen up this is all computerized now all right so if you want to order, say, for example, the links for heaters, you just hit this button and blam, goes right to the kitchen. I'm sure we will all miss Cece hollering through the window. Please, I will still do that. No computer's going to change me. Now, if you want to make a special order, you got to hit this button. Oh, maybe it's this button. Okay, then let's try this one. Excuse me. Move. <clears throat> You will never guess what I just got. What? What? Surprise! Uh, put your shirt down. Come on, you can't let people see this. Oh, Blink. See what it does? It's sexy. You're trying to take my clothes off already. No, 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 no. I am covering you up. I don't know. Why would you, the distinguished Eleanor Winthrop, go out and get a navel ring? Because it's hot. It's mad happening. I don't like this. Oh, well, then you're not going to like my tattoo either. My, my God. God! Oh, no, don't pull your pants up. Now that is tantalizing. Did you know that a chrysanthemum is an aphrodisiac? Of course you did. Dante! Stop. Ironically, I got one in the same place. You know what I'm saying? Wow! <laughs> Jeez! Great minds tattoo alike, you know what I'm saying? Dante, number one, get out of my back room. Number two, never come in here unless you're invited. And three, never, ever show me your ass again. It was completely irresponsible of you to, to, to go out and do such a thing. And, and the mere fact that Dante liked it proves my point. Well, Link, you're one of the only people who would ever see it. I thought you'd find it sexy. One of the only? You and the tattoo artist. Oh, I am very honored. What's next, a new portion of Young Blonde? Well, maybe I should get a young blonde. You know, your behavior is exactly what men do when they reach a certain oh, age. and women can't? Well, a woman who's a lady shouldn't. Oh, so now I'm not a lady? Oh, and Link, you are stuck in the 50s. You are stuck in this bar. Maybe you need a push and a young blonde. Yeah, well, maybe I do. Well, good. Go and get one. I do. I don't know you. <clears throat> Listen. If I was you, I'd stay away from Link. He just checked in to the Heartbreak Hotel, okay? What's up? What else, Eleanor? So baby probably hooked up that argument just to get back with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dante, you're tripping. Oh, no, I'm just telling the truth. Like, right now, mm. your panties are moist. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you give this to Johnny B. Good? Oh, he went over there. Perfect. Would you make sure that he gets this? And who should I say sent it? Mrs. Johnny B. Good. Oh, well, I heard you was in town, but I assumed you'd be white. Well, I mean, <laughs> you clubs. I beg your pardon? I'll get this right to Johnny. Uh, Johnny, 
Your wife just sent this for you. <laughs> Please. Can't believe you married a sister. I mean, first off, I can't even believe you was married, but to a sister? Damn, Johnny. <laughs> Everything okay? No. Everything's fantastic. Courtney wants a divorce. Oh, gee, man, I'm sorry. No, 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 you don't understand. It's what I want. I've been hoping and wishing for this. Oh, poor Johnny. Like, you don't even know he's hurting inside. Listen, Johnny, whatever you need, man. Yeah, you can, you can call us. me because I know all about this. So all you need to do is Everybody, cease and desist. Whenever Courtney serves me with divorce papers, it means we're about to embark on nights of endless passion. And if I may be so blunt, the best sex in the world. Ta-ta. Y'all go through all that for sex? I mean, can't you just run a video or something? Hello. Hello. You like men in uniform? Oh, not this week. Thank God it's Sunday. I'll be back around midnight. Hmm. So what, you think you're the only one around here that can get some play? Don't you even start with me. Start with you? Maybe I ain't even finished with what I got here. Ain't that right, boo? I hadn't planned on coming back, but I did. I'm glad. Would you like to apologize? All right, I apologize, Eleanor. I shouldn't have gotten so worked up. It was just so unlike you, it took me by surprise. Link, that's the point. Surprise is good. You gotta live. Stop being so Republican. I will accept your apology on one condition. Which is? That you and I attend couples therapy tomorrow morning. Hell no, Eleanor. Black people don't go to therapy. Link, that's exactly the point. You're blocked, baby. You're blocked. Oh, no, I'm not going to therapy. I agree with Link. I mean, why pay all that money to lie on some couch and talk to an old geezer with a goatee? Therapy is for fucked up white people. My therapist is an African-American woman. <laughs> and I'm certainly not going to talk to some woman. So, Eleanor, what fulfilled you in this relationship? Well... Link is a wonderful, wonderful man, and I see glimpses of a very loving man. Mmm. Glimpses. Mm. That is the operative word here. <laughs> see there? He went ballistic when I showed him my navel ring and my tattoo. I just want him to let go, you know, just... Let go? I'm not hanging on, Eleanor. I just don't want my girlfriend turning into Lil' Kim. Link, Eleanor is speaking. Your chance will come. Continue, Eleanor. When I realize what we could have, that's when I'm sad. Yeah, when I'm sad, I just go play golf or get myself a beer. You don't see me piercing my body. Well, you certainly have brought up a host of issues, the first of which is trust. You must trust that your turn to speak will come. This is not Link's bar. Eleanor, please. When I see a piece of the dream, and I realize that I want the full dream. Oh, yes. Yes. Not that diminutive, tacky-tied little piece. Yes, we're getting somewhere now. No, we're not. Now you're just kissing her butt. What? what? Eleanor, Link. Eleanor, Link. Eleanor, excuse me, please. <laughs> Link. Link. <clears throat> when I was in medical school, I was affectionately called Erratica Testeculi. There's Latin for ball buster. Or you could do that German thing, Nuss Knocker. <laughs> Either way, don't fuck with me, okay? All right, now let us proceed in a more constructive manner. Well, as you know, I've just come out of a marriage, and, and, and this is frightening. I'm single again, and it's been a long time. Dusty, when you embark on a new relationship, you need a mate who is respectful and supportive. Oh, wait a minute. I'm... It... I am respectful and supportive, all right? Now, 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 this whole thing is, is about some stupid tattoo or, or, or earring or stomach ring or whatever. See, you just called them stupid. 
Is that supportive? I'm not hearing you be supportive. Eleanor, how can you hear anything? You're so busy talking. How, what do you mean I'm so busy talking? Link, I can't with the... Feel the silence. Now, Eleanor, Link has demonstrated his support by being here today, and you need to acknowledge that. Mm hmm. Eleanor. All right. And Link. Eleanor, just out of a 20-year marriage, is extremely vulnerable and only hears that you consider her actions stupid. No, 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 when I did not. When she needs your support, you criticize her. I the was major not... problem is you don't listen and you completely submerge your feelings. Black men especially must learn to get in touch with their feelings, which the racist society has forced them to bury. They must listen. So they can hear that inner homeboy and clock it. Inner homeboy. <laughs> Keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, keep it real. I'm up with that. Up with that. Mm. Word. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I read somewhere that you are almost as big as that, uh, that poofy dad fella. I'm bigger. Whoa. That's big. You have been to his restaurant? I, I, I heard about his birthday party. Man, I heard that there was naked dancing girls and naked waitresses, naked hat check girls. Naked everything. And all kinds of people, including the Duchess of York. She's cute. I, I like her. I like them healthy. Right, right. Well, you know, when you become senator, mm -hmm. I'll take you by the restaurant. But that'll be a first, man. A senator from Mississippi hanging out with me and Poofy. Right. <laughs> I asked you not to wear that green shirt. But it was a perfect shirt to go with my own song. And you completely dissed me and had no regard whatsoever for what I wanted. It was supposed to be my evening. Excuse me, did you just say the word dissed? Yes. The New York Times utilizes the word, and that's exactly what you did. You sound like you're from the hood. Now, when I created you... Oh, and don't go to that when you created me place. You always do that when you're losing. <laughs> losing? Yes. You're losing your touch. You used to be so sharp. And I'm in my prime. Oh, booyah. Hey. <laughs> I can still devour you in a matter of seconds. You seem to forget that I taught you everything that you know. Your tricks are my tricks, and I can see them coming before they escape your lips. But I have new tricks, baby. Tricks you can't even imagine. Tricks that will leave you exhausted on the floor. Tricks that will burn a hole. Mm. See you then, sweetheart. Kissy, kissy. Big kiss. Oh. <clears throat> what? Can you explain that? My friend, that's what you call true love. Now, you can spend all that money on therapy if you like. Johnny Be Good scoffs. Who needs it? Hold up. You and Eleanor in therapy? Oh, brother, the writing is on the wall. Oh, wait, can y'all hear that? It, is that the fat lady warming up? <laughs> Why are you always here? I'm free, black, and rich, anyway. My last lady dragged me into therapy. I walked out after five minutes. I'm like, what the hell should I pay somebody to tell me what I already knew? Our relationship was fucked up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I dig your ship, Johnny. My, my ship? Thank you. 
Sailing, you know, you and Eleanor are trying to be all secretive and white with your shit. Brothers and sisters fight their battles right out on the street. Then your family, your neighbors, and everybody else hears you, and then they throw a toast or something at you, and pow! That's black therapy, baby. Right. <laughs> I am very afraid. Because what you're saying almost makes sense. No, I think it makes a lot of sense. I went to that couples therapy thing with my first wife. It was horrifying. We had to hit each other with those plastic bats and stuff. One day I tried to substitute my plastic bat for a real one, but they caught me. Which is a good thing, I guess. Else I'd be in prison with my cousins Linwood and Jimmy Lee. Mm. Did I ever tell y'all how Linwood got to prison? <laughs> He's fooling around with some woman named Cherie. And... Today, we're going to get in touch with our feelings from a physical perspective highlighted with my ethnic touch. Come. Dance. With the spirits. string on the doorknob. You're being ridiculous. I opened the bathroom door. One of those things fell off. I stepped on it, slipped on felt. Now that's ridiculous. I could have broken something. And because your ass is clumsy, you're blaming me? If you didn't have to go to the bathroom 50 times a night, MC Bladder, you wouldn't have to worry about my G-strings. You could spend your time slipping them off of me instead of slipping on them. Ow. Can y'all keep it down over here? I'm trying to have a meeting, please. <laughs> I love this. The bougie does it. Y'all do this insult stuff as foreplay, huh? Uh, Cece, go waitress. No, no, no. You sit down right here and talk to me. Okay. Girl, you must be like Magnolia Thunder Pussy, huh? <laughs> Is this urban girl talk? Because I find this repulsive. Anyway, so Courtney, what do you do for a living, girl? I'm a private investigator. Snap. I knew it. I knew it was something secretive and shit, because you got that mystery thing going on. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. I have never met a black female private investigator before, although God knows when you black and female, you got to investigate these brothers' privates out here. I know okay. that's right, girl. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a bunch of old scrubs, right? Okay? That's my girl. <laughs> my God! Are you two bonding? Courtney, we must go. I'm not through talking to my sister. That's right, honey. I bet you got all sorts of stories, huh? Jam sequa bombs. <laughs> well, actually, I was just offered a position right here in D.C. that I cannot resist. What? D.C.? You can't move here. Well, Johnny, Courtney's your wife. Don't you want her with you? Absolutely not. Our marriage is perfect because we've never lived in the same city. I can't imagine seeing you for breakfast every morning. Sharing the paper. Sipping tea. Making this, doing laundry. All those horrible, icky, married things. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you walked out of therapy? Yes. I had two choices, Eleanor. Leave or kill Dr. Africanus Horribilis. You don't care about us, do you? Of course I do, Eleanor. Then one more session. 
That's all I ask. I feel we'll have a breakthrough this time. Oh, no, please don't make me go back there, okay? Now just relax. There's a lot of tension here. So much animosity. But we'll get past it. Now take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Oh, wow. I haven't heard this in a long time. This is one of my favorite songs. Yes, Link. Let the melody speak through you. Uh, and the words are perfect. Where is the love? You said you'd give to me as soon as you were free. <laughs> yeah, this song is exactly my relationship with Eleanor. L Lucinda, I have to go to the ladies' room. You do not sit your tail down. <laughs> Continue, Link. Yeah, I mean, you know, just like in the song, I want to know when will it be. Mm, that's very good. Keep going. Yeah, you know, like, you know, am I going to lose my woman every time some ex comes calling? Hmm? Hmm? I mean, when he sneezes, do you have to go and bless him? That's good. <laughs> that will be in my next book. Uh, could even be the title. Oprah will love this. When he sneezes, does she have to go and bless him? <laughs> Pay me no mind. Continue. Well, what I'm saying is, when will Eleanor give me the love? Because so far, she really hasn't. Can we listen to something else? Oh, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, we touch on something deep, and you refuse to deal with the issue. I mean, you decide you don't like it, so we don't listen. You have issues. Link has concerns. You have issues. What? You have issues. I am sensing a deep fear of intimacy from you. Bingo! Bingo, bingo, bingo! I mean, every time I get close to her, she flips with somebody else. That's not true, Link. Honey, this is good. Keep going. We're getting somewhere now. Take this thing with Dante. I have tried very hard. Who is Dante? Oh, 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 see, that's exactly what I mean. She hasn't even mentioned him. No, you, you know, this was a very bad idea. Why don't we just cut our losses and I'll even pay your share, okay? Eleanor, Eleanor, C-A-B, classic avoidance behavior. Lucinda, K-M-A, kiss my ass. Hostility is not the answer. I don't need this shit. Let's say I did tell you. Somehow, some way, through no fault of your own, it gets out. What happens to me? What happens to my job? I don't care. I need to protect my client. Exactly. You don't care. So if I don't have my own back, you think my husband's going to? Huh? You'd sell me down the river in two seconds. But we'd make so much money, it wouldn't matter. Oh, well, 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 well. Miss Eleanor. All right, I know it was childish to run out on you in therapy, but you did it too. I refuse to answer to you about what I do. You think the world revolves around Johnny. It doesn't. You will not control me this time the way you always do. And if you think this town isn't big enough for both of us, move. Can I get a drink? That's what I don't want. Link, I want it to be easy. Yeah, but you're the one who always has to put things on top of things on top of things, and you make everything so complicated. You are so supercilious. Nothing's ever simple with you. Why do I even try? You don't hear a word I'm saying. Well, maybe if you lowered your volume and adjusted your attitude, we could communicate. You know what? I have work to do. And don't go hiding behind your work. That's what you always do. As if you don't. You should look in a mirror, Miss Workaholic. This is for real. I want a divorce. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. dance. 
No. No. Is that supportive? I don't feel very fucking supportive. What was that? Well, it 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 worked for them. Oh, come on, baby. I mean, you know, even <laughs> the iceberg that hit the Titanic had to melt at some point. Give a brother a break. Oh, so now you're calling me cold? Well, right now you could keep tuna fresh. You are referred to me as a piece of ice? I'm not gonna be your Titanic. 